My name is Levi Trumbull. I'm from the I'm acting as a process server tonight. I'm from the circuit court for Washington County. No, wait, wait. I am hurt. What's that? This is not appropriate. What's not appropriate? I'm here to serve a subpoena. Hey, Levi Trumbull came in here for service process to serve a subpoena to Judy Kearns. Your town attorney, you quoted that there was a law that prevented him from service of process during a legislative session, and there is no such law, no rule whatsoever. You just made that up. All right, guys, we just came from the town hall meeting in Keatsville, Maryland. If you recall, uh, I was on vacation. I had Levi serve a subpoena um, to Judy Kearns, councilwoman in Keatsville. And the town attorney, Ed Kaczynski, had made a false statement that you're not allowed to serve a subpoena in an open meeting, a legislative session or in court. Um, I serve people anywhere I can find them, and that's legally the way you do it. Anywhere you can find them, once it's signed, once it's issued by the circuit court clerk or endorsed by the circuit court clerk, you're, you're good to go. And he was trying to say that you couldn't do it. Uh, he was man enough to admit that he was wrong. I had to drag it out of him. He wouldn't apologize to Levi for, for you know embarrassing him like he did. Here's gonna be the video of Levi trying to serve Judy Kearns and him trying to stop it. And then after that is gonna be him admitting he was wrong and uh, coming clean. So at least he did that. I guess this would be the right time. I mean, I didn't sign up. I just signed up to get in here. Oh, you didn't sign up to speak? Is this well, a speaker's comment? No, I, you just told me to sign in. Right. Do you want to speak? Well, I guess this is probably an appropriate time. So I just have something. Actually, I just have something. I don't need to speak. I just have something for you, uh, Miss Kearns. I'm actually, my name is Levi Trumbull. I'm from the, I'm acting as a process server tonight. I'm from the circuit court for Washington County. No, wait, wait. I am hurt. What's that? This is not appropriate. What's not appropriate? I'm here to serve a subpoena. Any public meeting, you can do it after the meeting, but not during. Not during the public meeting? Not during the public meeting. So you want me to stick around and then give it to her? Well, that's what you have to do. If she's but I'm right here, right now. Why can't I serve her right now? Waive it and accept it. That's fine, but generally... Okay. ...can't be served in court, or they can be served during a public meeting or a legislative session. So... How do you know that? It's his job. It's his job? Okay, I'll hang around. That's fine. That's fine. No problem. I wasn't here. Walked in a little bit late. What's that? You were standing there when I walked in. Okay. You want to take it right now? You want to take it right now? No? Uh, yes or no? Do you want to take it? Yes. Well, okay, thank you. Okay, so it's a, it's, I'm here to serve a subpoena, as you know. We'll get, we'll get this out of the way. All right, you're, you have to testify in person for Justin Holder versus Town of Keatsville at all, September 24th, 9 a.m. Here you are, ma'am. Do you have any questions? Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Appreciate it. So I would like to speak about a grievance that I have. Um, back at your last meeting, a 23-year-old man named Levi Trumbull came in here for service process to serve a subpoena to Judy Kearns. Because when I attempted to serve the subpoena, she was out of town. Um, your town attorney, he's a lawyer. He's held to a very high standard. When someone is unrepresented and an attorney tells him something is the law or the rules of civil procedure, it should be accurate. It shouldn't be a falsehood. Um, on the last meeting, you actually had your town attorney, Ed Kaczynski, tell that young man who was unrepresented, you gave him, you quoted that there was a law that prevented him from service of process during a, uh, during court, during an open meeting, or during a legislative session, and there is no such law, rule of civil procedure, rule, no rule whatsoever. You just made that up. Now, I make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. I make actually a lot of mistakes. Um, are you willing to admit that you made a mistake by giving that false legal statement to that young man and apologize to him? See, when I make mistakes, I just say, I'm sorry. Are you willing to apologize for lying to that young man and saying it was illegal for him to serve a subpoena to somebody? I'm not going to apologize. You're not going to apologize to, for lying to that young man? I didn't lie. What did you do? 
I, this is resident comments. I'm not going to get into the dialogue with you. You've made your comment. If that's your comment, then you, it, it's, it's noted. I hear you. So you're not going to apologize to Levi Trumbull for lying to him about service process of a simple subpoena? I apologize to Levi Trumbull for attempting to serve a subpoena during the course of a meeting on an elected official at a time that, in my opinion, was inappropriate. So. Oh, so it was your opinion. You said it was against the rules. It's on video. I said I'm done commenting, all right? But he was, it was not the time or place to be serving the subpoena. He was here prior to the meeting. He could have done it after the meeting. He didn't have to approach her with his microphone and his camera on and read the subpoena. You said it was a violation of the rules. Well, at the time I thought it was. So you're admitting you were wrong? I'm admitting that at the time, I thought that it was a violation of the rules. So you're admitting that you were wrong? I am not getting any further down. All right, the time is up. Your time is up.